That's marketing. The moment that that person submits that information, they should be instantly receiving a text message. Now that we have the campaign created, it's the next step is to automate the process. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we do have two options for Zapier. Um, first option is to use the Zapier um, personal apps, which is the email and SMS provider by Zapier, or connect it to the other platforms or apps that you are using for this example, um, Clavio and simple texting. So let's start with a connection to Clavio. First, as soon as we get the lead from Facebook, we want to send that lead de details to Clavio so we can actually continue to nurture them, send them upsells or reminders along the way, and also send a confirmation message for simple text. Again, um, you can actually set up the first message to resend the lead magnet that they just downloaded just to make sure they have it saved on multiple places. So for our starting app, it would be, or trigger, it would be our Facebook lead ads. And your trigger would be when a new lead has been created. Um, you do have a few options. Actually, that's the only thing, sorry about that. A new lead has been created, meaning uh, a lead has just filled out and submitted the lead form on Facebook. And we will create or connect our Facebook account. So continue. And Secondly, select your Facebook page. So double check your page identity, and that should be the page here for your Zapier. So Dr. Berg form is FBMC cheat sheet uh, that we just created. And for it to have actually some data, I'm gonna go ahead and test the form. So, Donald, can you, can, you, can you share, okay, so that's the form for the Facebook lead ad, right? Yes. Um, can you share the link to, uh, over here in the chat box, they can probably try it themselves. Yep, I just posted that link. Okay, let's see. So I wanna show it in my feed, okay, that's fine. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna refresh my feed, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see that dude, Manuel, Dr. Berg, blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Let me refresh it again. Okay, here we go. Okay. So let's see. I reached for million subscribers on YouTube. Almost four now. So to celebrate, I want to show my appreciation to all my subscribers by giving you something to help you with your health and weight loss goals. Would you like to know my most highly recommended foods for getting into fat burning mode? I think that needs some copy help. Grab my free cheat sheet, simply click below. Okay, so fat burning triggers list of food. We're not running this ad, right, Donald? We're not like this? Okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna click on download. So let's find out what is the load time here. What's the load time, Rob? How long does it take to load? You said instantly. I said instantly. Oh wow, that is instantly. <laughs> Dang, okay. It's gonna help you to lose weight. Uh, it's gonna help you and then lose the weight. Let me know when where I can deliver the cheat sheet, okay? Next, that's simple, user-friendly. Look at the data populated right there, Manuel Suarez, in Monterey Gym Agency, US, uh, my phone number, uh, and then submit. Off we go, thanks, you're all set. Use this cheat sheet attached below to know what to eat and do activate. Okay, so I'm gonna go download here. Guys, you see how frictionless this is? I got the cheat sheet right here, just like that, all right? I can go ahead and download this thing right here. In our case, we're using a, uh, um, a software, a platform called Ignite. You guys can use Google, um, no matter what. What is it called, Google Drive? Google, Google Drive. Google Drive. No matter what it is. All right, so I have my cheat sheet right here, okay? And I can save it for me. And um, that's it, I got the information. And now I got, um, Dr. Berg is gonna be now spamming me every single day because he has a good marketing team. <laughs> His marketing teams, they're professionals, so they spam a lot. Uh, no, we provide value. We walk the talk, we provide value. Okay, John, I'll go back to your screen. Awesome, so I actually just, since Manuel submitted the lead form, I was now able to test the first step of the funnel or the zap, which is to get the data. 
And as you may notice, it we is found the, the, lead. Same, the same information that Manuel submitted. So now that we have the trigger actually properly set up, we now want to um, integrate our CRM. So you can actually use Skip if you are using Infusionsoft. You can use Active Campaign. Um, you can use Aweber. Almost all of the CRMs are actually inside um, Zapier. So it's almost um, exactly the same process on each of those CRM integrations. First and starting step will always be your lead ads. The next step would be your CRM. So uh, let's do. I would. I don't think. I don't think uh, ClickFunnels is there yet, John. Can you type it in? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's there. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course it is. It's Zapier. Uh, it's not in the business manager though. Like. Um, you can also integrate your business manager, uh, your page with a CRM. You can also do that. There are going to be a couple of limitations that business manager does not have. Um, um, but if, um, for example, you want to set up the texting and the email and the automation and the communication with manage chat, Zapier is still going to be the best option um, with the business manager. If you integrate click funnels, uh, not click funnels, but Infusionsoft, Keep, Active Campaign, uh, um, Constant Contact, uh, Mailchimp, etc. If you integrate it, as soon as the information comes in, the lead comes in, it is instantly sent to your CRM, and then you can set up the sequences and the communication. With Zapier, you control the whole conversation a lot more, so that's why we still go in that direction. Uh, but as you can see here, John is going to show you now with what we're going to do, Clavio. Yes. This example. Okay. Yep, I have Clavio. Um, I actually already created a Clavio uh, simple campaign or workflow that actually would send out an email notification once a user is added. Uh, it's basically the same format on any of the CRMs. You create a flow for Infusionsoft or Kip, they use the term campaign. Um, you can create those, have the first message be the same lead magnet that is being provided to the users as soon as they uh, filled out the lead form. Um, this just serves to be a backup copy for them because let's say if they forgot to download the lead magnet after filling out, they will still have it on email and they will still have it on simple text afterwards or SMS. So for Clavio or any CRM, your event type would be add a subscriber. Um, you do have four options, add a subscriber, create an event, update, subscriber or find a subscriber. So I'm going to add a subscriber, continue, and let's say, or this specific account actually isn't connected yet. So all you have to do is connect an account. Um, Zapier actually provides you with the steps on how to connect those accounts. So you can do your API key with account settings. When you click that, it actually automatically uh, pulls up the account data from your Clavio profile. I'm gonna hide it away because it actually has the API settings that is um, important to the account. So let me quickly hide that section and I'll just enter in the API key. Just to protect yourself from any criminals that sneaked into <laughs> the coaching program. And so it has two options or two questions. Let me hide this for, for a bit for Clavio. This is also the same standard for other accounts. It will have the main or public API key and it will have the private API key. So any CRM has those API key settings. And Zapier actually gives you a direct link to download those. So once the account has been added, this is the new account. You can rename it afterwards by clicking on edit accounts or accessing it via your dashboard um, under the apps section. So let's say I'm good with the account name for now. Um, next up is to actually add the subscriber to a list. So earlier I created a simple or a sample list that we can use for today, which is the FBMC sample. And you may notice that there is actually a lot of information being asked. You only need to fill out the important ones. So first step is the email. I actually type in, don't add any special characters to it. For example, the EM that I added, remove, make sure to remove those. So um, the correct info or details will only be added to the account. First name 
and last name. This is the reason why I also want or recommended to have the first name and last name um, ask separately on the lead form since CRMs have those separated every time. And phone number. So phone number, title, organization, and any other information are not necessary on this step, but let's say um, you are, for example, uh, a roofing company or a service type of company um, that you will need to have uh, on your CRM the client or customer's um, address. You can easily ask those in the lead form and those can be easily populated inside uh, any CRM that you have as long as you were able to get the data from your step one. As long as there is data from your step one, which is your trigger, you can access all of those data that you need from any other extra steps that you will do afterwards. So right now, I'm only needing email, first name, last name, phone number, and I can go ahead and click continue. And once we do click and test and continue, it will show as a success. Manuel has been added to our um, segment or list inside Clavio. Let me go ahead and refresh. And then the next step, if let's say you have or you, you are going to be sending a text message, um, is to click the plus icon. Let's click done editing on this, back to setup, add the plus icon. And I wanted to use a SMS. You can use SMS by Zapier or you can use simple text. SMS by Zapier is pretty much the same steps. It will have um, its event, what you want to do afterwards. So if you have connected uh, or created an account for SMS by Zapier, just select that account. If not, then you have to create a new one. And you can customize your um, SMS afterwards. So from which number? You can select any number. Um, that Those numbers are actually connected into your account. You can select your, or add your message. Let's say I want to give them the same message here. And I want them to download the lead form or the lead magnet here. You can customize your link. Are we, are, are we doing a text message? Are we doing a text yeah, message? We, we can also do a text message or let's say second. we are. Mm -hmm. no, no. This one is a text message, right? Yes. Okay. So remember the uh, rule about the emojis, right? Yes. Uh, that's for manager. Okay. Yeah. It should be the same thing. Like just so you guys know, uh, here's a, a lesson that we've learned uh, and it costs us a lot of money. So I'll, I'll, I'll teach you guys and save you the money now. When you add, uh, when you do a text message, you can do one of two things. You can do an SMS or you can do something called an, an MMS, which is multimedia uh, message. Um, the uh, SMS, it has to be exclusively text. The uh, moment that you add an emoji, it becomes an MMS. The, uh, it sounds like MMM, like multi, what is it? MMA, MMA? MMA? Martial arts. Martial arts, yeah, martial arts. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the SMS has a, a character limit of 160 characters. Uh, the MMS doesn't really have that limit. I think it's like a thousand characters, something like that. ManyChat does tell you that. Multimedia messaging system, you got it. The, uh, Gary, Gary said that. Uh, the, um, the, the MMS, you can do images and you can do emojis and things like that, but it's gonna cost you three times as much. So for example, you're gonna pay one cent for a text message, you're gonna pay three cents for an MMS. So just keep that in mind because that could become painful. So when you're doing a, uh, a text message, um, John, can you open characteronline.com or uh, onlinecharacter.com? Charactercounter.com, charactercounter.com. Oh, okay, counter. Characterconnor.com. Okay, Gra grab the text message and paste it here. Grab that text message and paste the whole thing. Boom. Uh, so that's 174 characters, so you're 16 over, which means that uh, one thing that you can do, eliminate the HTTP. The HTTP. Actually, if you did a bit.ly, you would probably have it handled. Yes. That whole thing. A bit.ly or a custom redirect. 
All right, let's do a, a, a bit.ly for now, simple. All right, paste it there and let's get that one. And you can take away the HTTP too, by the way. All right, and how many characters we got now? 174. We're, like we're, we're actually at 143 right now. So we're, oh. no, it says. Uh, um, 143 if we don't count out the spaces, but if we include spaces, it is 174. Okay, so now the spaces, spaces are gonna count. All right, yeah, 174, okay, good. So we still have to shorten that. That's still too long. Uh, oh, non-space characters, enjoy. I see that. That's not the software that I usually use, not the website. That's, all right. Download here, okay? So yeah, 167. So use this cheat sheet attached below. Um, no, so you gotta reword that. So again, some copy has to come into action here. So you say, what, what, don't, don't delete it yet, you say, Dr. Burke, put it in brackets. That's what I do, guys, always. Let me tell you why I do that. Um, not, that's, that's not bracket, that's parenthesis. Or that's, uh, yeah. No. Let me, let me tell you, John. I'll show you. It's this one right here. Come in, come in in one second. You guys have to tell me what the name of, of this thing is. It's coming, it's coming. Everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> this one? There, this one and that one, Donald. No, not that one, I'm, I, I send you a message. Oh, uh, this one. Why? What is that called? Anybody gonna tell me what that, what is, what that is called? So you're gonna say, you're gonna say uh, here's, as promised, all right? So after Dr. Berg, after Dr. Berg, you're gonna say, as promised, comma, here's your keto cheat sheet. You can download it here. Rain says less than and greater than sign. <laughs> okay. Um, so cheat sheet, uh, end of sentence, end of sentence. Okay, and then uh, why capitalized? All right, so look at that. Now you're like, now, now we, can, we can add something else. Uh, so we can say, um, so Dr. Berg, thank you for subscribing. Thank, thank you for becoming a subscriber. That has to be next to Dr. Berg at the top. Oh. Thank you for becoming a subscriber. A subscriber, yeah. Uh, as promised, here's your keto cheat sheet. You can download it here. Okay, uh, put it all put it all together. Um, grab that line. You can download it and put it next to cheat sheet. All right, um, and then separate. Per, se, okay, so now we're like, give it a space. Yep. Okay, good. So now go separate. Go below it. Um, and then we can say something like. Uh, Hope you enjoy it. Um, Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg next to the uh, exclamation mark. You don't even need to say Dr. Berg again because you see it doesn't have to be repetitive. Yeah. Uh, so you can take that away, right? Take it away. So yeah, 151, that's fine. We don't have to use them all up. Go ahead and grab that. And then 150, it says it over there. Messages with more than 153 characters will be truncated. Why 153? I don't know. But we have 152. So we buy, we're fine. Yep. So let's say we have the images, or actually we now have the image. We have the FRAM phone number. Um, you can just simply click continue. And you can test the flow to send out the SMS. But the other scenario, let's say if we are going to be using a third-party app or software such as simple text you can easily add a simple text uh, or create a simple text contact so your action would be app simple texting event would be to add a contact and then you can set up a campaign inside simple text to send out messages to contacts that has been recently added so, so, contact, so just to be clear just to be clear mm -hmm. John 
uh, the uh, the text message that we set up is being sent by Zapier. Zapier, yes. Not by simple text. Zapier yes. will bill you for it. All right, it's not going to be sent out for free. It's not for free. Was that? Um, do we have the pricing on that, Donald? Because uh, I'm sure it's going to be based on packages. Do we have it there? Um, let me set, check. Yeah, so Zipier we're going to check that in a second. But but that first message is going to be automatically. I'm talking about instantly. That is marketing, guys. That's marketing. The moment that that person submits that information, they should be instantly receiving a text message that it's like, all right, I got your information. I want to thank you for this. Here's your download over here. Or we're going to be contacting you shortly. Hey, by the way, here's our Google map instructions on how to get here. Um, look, keep an eye out for a phone call coming from 7 to 7. Thank you. Whatever that message is, make your brand look professional by letting them know that, you know, that you're there and that you really care about them. So what John is saying right now is that he's going to plug them into simple texting because we use that platform for texting. I mean, why do we use simple texting? Because it's simple to use. I mean, it is literally simple texting. All right. Um, and, and they have a competitive price. They do one cent per, per message if you have the right plan and they do three cents per uh, MMS. Uh, many chat. And let me tell you what I love about simple texting also. Um, and this is something that ManyChat does not have. Simple texting allows you to import your 1-800 number and make that, makes it your text number, your, your WhatsApp number, all of it. All right, so for example, if you guys want to text AGM, all you got to do is go to, text me, send me a text message to 888-280-3339. If you want to call us, if you want to text message us, if you want to WhatsApp us, it's the same number. So that is the beauty of it because you have one centralized communication. Uh, the same thing with Dr. Berg right now. If you guys want to call him, you can call him. And he, we use simple text for him. Um, it's a 1888, um, what is it? Uh, 8184, whatever the website number uh, is on the website. That number, you can also text it. So if somebody calls and they don't answer, they can send a text message and we got them right there. And that's really powerful. ManyChat doesn't have that yet. That's something that I really like. ManyChat does have a competitive pricing on text messaging, but it's not a text message platform. You're gonna pay one cent on ManyChat too, and I think also three cents for MMS, but it's not really set up as a texting platform. Right now, I can tell you that we use both. I have lists on simple texting, and I have lists on ManyChat. Did you find pricing on Zapier, Donald? No, not yet. Um, they do recommend Twilio if you're going to be targeting international instead, which is 0 0.01 cents per SMS, but they don't have a specific pricing on the... Which, by the way, uh, Twilio is what ManyChat integrated with. They just yes. don't announce that, but Twilio is the platform that they use. Uh, Sapir has a free built-in service for those send SMS as an action for any SAP. Um, those are the boys, guys. Some things to note about our free in-house service. You can send up to 15 times per hour. Okay, so you see that. So if you do more than 15 leads, then Zapier is not going to let you do any more. The two number must be verified and it's fixed to the account. Okay, interesting. All right, it's connected to the account. Uh, and the from number is our Zapbot phone number. Uh, international support is limited to US and UK right now. Okay, so there you have it, all right? So if you're gonna do big volume right, of SMSing uh, of leads, then Zapier is not gonna work. But if you're gonna do um, 15 times per hour uh, and you're gonna generate 15 leads per hour, that's a big number. How many, how many is 15 to 24? 15 to 25, 84, anybody? 15 times 24, how much is that? Who's gonna be the fastest one to give me that number? 360. Okay, so that's 360 leads a day, right? Good guess. Uh, so that's a lot of leads, guys, right there. So it depends, but that's cool. Now, can you use it as a, as a broadcasting platform? No, you cannot. Uh, it's for the lead and the SAP process. So if you want to broadcast to your phone numbers, uh, Zapier is not going to work. All right, It's just for that initial flow of somebody coming in and the, the ZAP triggering. They can send a text message. So you still have to connect a texting platform to it if you want to continue communicating with people with text. All right, exactly. Like ManyChat or Simple Texting or 
there's a bunch of them, or Twilio, et cetera. Yes. So for a full um, automated process, um, since, uh, as Manuel mentioned, the SMS by Zapier only is for the first touch um, cases, you will have to connect with uh, a third-party app. Uh, on this scenario, we're going to use simple texting, um, which is also pretty easy to set up. Um, the setup for all third-party apps are actually almost the same. You just select your list name. Again, earlier on Clavi, we also selected a list name. And just grab the phone number from your lead form. So if you notice, we now have three earlier steps that we completed. This is your trigger, Facebook lead campaigns or lead ad, Clavio and the SMS by Zapier. So we will get our data from the lead ads, which is phone number, first name, last name. And for simple text, you can also actually include the user's email. So you'll have full notes, uh, a full data on it. If you want to add notes as well, for example, um, the date it was created, or the ad set name, or the ad name, or the campaign name, you can also actually include those so you can sort afterwards on which specific campaign or promotion you actually got those leads. And if you are good, just go ahead and click continue. You can, you can actually go ahead and test or skip the test. And once you are done, Done, and don't forget to rename your zap. So FBMC sample. And if you are ready to start your campaign, for example, you just turn on your campaign that you created. You have your um, flow created inside your CRM or your campaign created inside your CRM. You have your messages created inside um, your third party SMS app uh, on this example, which is simple text. You can then go ahead and turn on um, Zapier to start receiving all the data from your Facebook lead ads that's going to be sent out to Clavio, that's going to be sent out to Zapier SMS, and that's going to be sent out to Simple Text afterwards. Right so now, it. it's turned off right now, right? I see it off yes. in the top right. So you see that yes. button right there on the top right? Here or this one. Okay, we're going to turn that thing on, turn it on, boop, and you turn it on, right? Yes, yeah. um, we can add Google Sheets as well. You can add well. a Google Sheet on the way. You can have a step that is a Google Sheet so you can get that data there. Yes, you can. And that's very simple to get done. And that way you have that data stored there as a backup data. And, it's, and it can share, and it can put that data there. It can say what their phone number is, their email, their name, uh, where they came from, what campaign. You can have that all there in the Google Sheet. So it can be your master spreadsheet with all your information there if you ever need to go back to it. Because you do, need, you, you do need to set up individual campaigns on simple texting, on manage chat, or any place there that you do in this, that you send the data to, you gotta make sure that you have the campaigns that are gonna continue the conversation with people along the way, right? So that's important. But Google Sheets is a good way to have a safe, secure backup of all the data that you can easily access all the time and find out exactly, and you can even match it. How many people went into uh, Clavio? Uh, it says that we got 748 people. Why does the Google Sheet have 975? Like, did it break or something? Okay, let's go to it. So that's a good way to uh, keep control over that data like that.